A little different format this year than we've been before is this year our rule choir members. In our school, um, some schools call it the student of the quarter. We don't do that anymore. We did with the student of the quarter a few years back. We changed our theme to um, role pride. Um, and if, I think most of you are familiar with the role pride theme and logo. It's uh, small letters, R O L L, capital P R, and then small letters, I D E. That came about during the 2014 or 2015 football season, when a member of the football team um, coined the phrase roll pride for the Aggies and to play on the roll tie in the University of Alabama. Anyway, long story short, what the roll pride awards are, replacing for student quarters, is those awards are given to six students in each grade per year and they are based on character qualities. So each year we choose a different character quality for our students, and then teachers will nominate the students that they feel meet those characteristics. This year's role pride character was having a positive attitude. And this year, like no other, positive attitude uh, played a big part in the success of our school year. And our kids were extremely positive despite all the things that we had to do, the mandates and all the rigmarole that went through with the COVID situation. So yeah, staying positive this year um, probably wasn't the easiest year to do that, but that's one of the reasons why we chose being positive as a character issue for this year. So what I would like to do right now is announce to you all the winners of the World Pride the first three quarters. They know who they are already, you probably do too, but also the winners of the fourth quarter uh, role by positive award, which they do not win. <laughs> so, when I announce your name, you guys can come up and grab a plaque. And if you're a fourth quarter winner, there's a, a certificate there too, and I'll help guide you through this thing. All right? So, when you hear your name, you receive your plaque for the role by the first quarter. Cassie Rodina, we'll do the freshman first. Cassie Rodina, Elise Carter, and Abby Gunn. We'll get to the fourth quarter. Of the week. The great ten winners. Mitchell Shearer, Adrian Rosinski, and Ellen Johnson. Our great elections, Freddy Ankalal, Gilman Zickman, and Anne Zippinger. And our senior award winners, Kevin Ross. Grace Johnson, Kelly Carlson.
in 2007. Dorothy graduated from Harvard High School. She was very active in our local community. I believe she um, was either homecoming queen or homecoming queen and one of the North Dakota pageant at one time. So she was a very involved woman. She loved gardening. She worked in the local state uh, business here and made this donation. Um, this is a very simple $500 scholarship. So if you are going into the medical profession, make sure next year that you apply for it. Um, the recipient must be a graduate of Parker Area School. All applications will be reviewed, but first consideration will be given to a qualifying student who plans to pursue a career in the field of healthcare. If there is no graduating senior planning and healthcare career, scholarship will be awarded to someone entering the field. The recipient must be chosen by the Committee of Art and Volunteer Animal Service members. They will not be based on grade or damage. The decision of the committee will be final. The recipient of the scholarship will be notified of the annual awards of the program for further school. No written notification will be delivered. So, this year, I am presenting the Laverne Buzz Health Scholarship to Isabel Irvin.
has set up through the North Dakota Community Foundation and the United League to provide several scholarships in the area of my appraisal business with, of course, emphasis on Parker Reverse. The basis of the Navy Family Scholarship is that unfortunately some of us have to take on a leadership role at a very young age. We all have events in our lives that impact us. How we deal with these events determines how productive our lives are and will be. Life is a very eventually we all learn this lesson. Many of you have realized uh, success in academics, various sporting activities, I think, such as music, speech, drama, and you all realize you don't achieve this success without lots of studying, hard work, and practice. That also applies to life in your pursuit of a career. Part of having a productive life is getting a college degree and being able to provide for yourself and eventually your family. Sometimes it takes a while to figure out your career path and what type of college degree to get, but don't give up. It took me a while. I was 26 years old when I finally received my bachelor's degree from North Coast State in a econ. Our goal with this scholarship is for the recipients to realize that this is more than money. This is a vote of confidence in your abilities and with focus and determination you can obtain a college degree. Good luck to all of you and don't forget the first step in getting on the right track in life is getting your college level. This year's recipients of $1,000 scholarships from the Haiti Family Charitable Fund. You can please come forward, Joseph Brown. Start with the 
in Richard Orson and work. Richard Orson Memorial Award was established by Mr. Larry Hauser and the Orson family in honor and memory of former Walsh County A school student Richard Orson. Richard grew up on the far east of Park River. He graduated from the former Walsh County A school in 1965. Richard was the typical all American kid. He was well liked by staff and students, had an ease about him that he displayed towards other people. He was very respectful, kind, and courteous. Richard was involved in all aspects of school life. He was a leader among his classmates. He was involved in student government and participated in athletics throughout his high school career. Richard was remembered as a person who had a very friendly personality. He was a person who could get along well with anyone who had many friends, but perhaps his most outstanding attribute was his attitude towards life. He was positive, caring, and kind. He respected others and was one who could be counted on. When the Vietnam War broke out, Richard enlisted in the United States Army. He was a member of the 11th Army Cavalry Division. His tour of duty began on June 17, 1967. On March 27, 1968, while on patrol in Vietnam, Richard was killed in action by enemy fire. He was 20 years old at the time of his death. Mr. Larry Hauser started the award in 1969 to honor the memory of this fine outstanding young man. Richard was one of Larry's closest friends. This year marks the 50th anniversary of this award. I'm proud to honor the 20 20, 21 recipient of the Richard Orson Memorial Award, Mr. Elias Marcus. The next award I have is the Park River Area Education Association Scholarship. The Park River Education Association Scholarship was created in 2019 by the members of the Park River Education Association. The scholarship was created in order to recognize the Park River Senior for their excellence and to assist financially with the expenses of a collegiate education. Each year, one applicant will be selected who demonstrates community involvement, exhibits academic excellence, has a financial need, and is well respected by the Park River educators. The applicants have to submit an application, turn in references, an educator evaluation, and write a personal statement essay. The scholarship will be paid upon submitting proof of a successful completion of their first semester of college. It's my honor this year to award the recipient to someone entering education, and that would be Ms. Jaden Rose.
my top freshmen. Um, I think they've learned a lot this year. Um, I think they taught me a lot too. Uh, I'm going to be giving that to Daniel Thompson, Elise Carter, and Benita and Tony Bell. Where the 
story originated, but it could also be added to just last week we were flying drones in the STEM class and he sent the, the drone off and got someone's hair caught in it. Um, but that's not the story that's winning in this award. Um, it was for when he was like a freshman. Uh, but the golden story this year goes to Jordan Durbin. Party 
Hurricane Fred was farmer in Walsh County area for many years. He also served as a state legislator and House of Representatives. Party strongly believed in the importance of the youth and their education. For this reason, he established the Kingsbury Family Foundation. Every year, several $1,000 scholarships are awarded to high school graduates. Eligibility for this scholarship includes being a resident of Walsh County and a graduate from the Walsh County School. In addition, students who are residents and or graduating from the St. Thomas School District are also eligible. The applicant's grades, ACT score, high school and their community activities and letters of recognition are taken into consideration when choosing the recipients. So the King Bird Family Foundation is pleased to award one of their two scholarships this year to Blaine Park. Memorial and the Parkour staff scholarship 
through our Catholic Friday donations. Uh, teachers donate um, a certain amount of money each year where we need to post on Catholic on Friday. Those funds then go to the scholarship. So it's now we get to $300 to attend Torkelson Memorial. And for the first time in my career as a counselor here, we had a student going to Winona State University, and of course, it was Samantha Hauser, her number before. So it's always really great to see kids branch out and look at different places. And she has won an academic scholarship of $500 from Winona State. Also, Walsh County Farmers Union scholarship for $250. And the Dr. Gary Pullen, they get four scholarships for $500. And this comment on Dr. Gary Pullen, he was a dentist in Parker for many years. His kids graduated from Parker High School. And he sat with their family, established a scholarship in his memory. Um, I don't know if any of you are old enough to have been a uh, patient of Dr. Pullen. But one thing about Dr. Pullen, the family really wanted to stretch was he was one of those guys that um, would do anything for you. And, have him come into the dentist's office at midnight if you were a farmer, or any time during the day, Saturdays or Sundays, morning or night. And he was just one of those guys that really gave to the community with his service and in his profession. And the family just wanted to honor that legacy by establishing a scholarship in his honor. And in my office, I have a plaque with his picture on it, and then we have a green plaque with all the students that have won the scholarship. I think this is about the seventh year now. So Dr. Gary Bowen, I'm going to go to the Our second recipient of the Tina Ferguson Memorial Scholarship of 300, goes to his daughter. Kelly, 
And also, Joseph is the winner of a $12,000 scholarship provided by Casey Mullen sponsorship to Parker Implement here in Parker. They will pay his tuition to go to Warhead Tech to become a diesel technician. And upon completion of his program, we'll return to Parker and work with Parker Implement. So, congratulations. Evan Ross. Evan 
additional scholarships that we wanted to mention that didn't get mentioned at the award ceremony this morning. First, the Lord, uh, Lloyd and Martha Haas Scholarship for a student going into the medical profession will be awarded to Isabel Urban in the amount of $1,125 and another North Dakota State Scholarship uh, Award for $6,000 and that is for Claire Wareham. All right, with that, if there are no other community presenters, that is the pop conclusion my pocket of our Memorial Day ceremony. Now, the moment that these guys have all been waiting for, we're going to draw for about 10 prizes to the whole Pride program. So, Claire and Grace will draw the prizes for the awards. Again, reminder, um, seniors in particular, others, if you receive an award today, recognize this day, um, I think there might be some of your taking a picture. Certainly the all five people, the fourth quarter, you need to go see Mrs. Larson, see your picture taken so we can get it to the newspapers. I know the big work out here. So if you guys make sure you do that, um, stick around and take a photo. There's no one here for the first take a photo. I'll run to my house and get the camera. Um, okay. So, okay. Uh, any other staff?
And then, uh, 